The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD stands as one of history's deadliest natural disasters and has been the focus of a wealth of research. But recent findings has revealed that the case is far from closed. The discovery of two male bodies and structural damage patterns has prompted researchers to reassess the accepted narrative of events. On August 24, 79 AD, volcanic materials rained down on the city, forcing residents to flee or seek shelter. A brief lull in activity followed before the town was engulfed by fast-flowing clouds of hot ash, gas and rock. But how do these newly uncovered remains challenge this established timeline? The two bodies exhibit severe trauma injuries, and based on their location in the volcanic deposits, it appears that they survived the initial phase of eruption, only to perish when intense ground motion caused their shelter to collapse. The intense ground motion provides evidence of concurrent seismic activity, which adds a new layer of complexity to this disaster.